Love, loss and betrayal, Swan Lake is one of the world's most beloved ballets. With Tchaikovsky's soaring score, stunning costumes, breathtaking corda ballet sequences and one of the most challenging solos in the repertory, this dramatic tale really is a feast for the senses. The Royal Ballet Swan Lake was performed two seasons ago to great acclaim. And with production and additional choreography by Liam Scarlett and designs by John McFarlane, this magical 19th century classic graces the stage once again here at Covent Garden from March the 5th and is beamed live around cinemas in the world on April the 1st. Well, good evening. I'm Tamsin Roberts and welcome to this evening's Insight, supported by Rolex. A very good evening to you, our studio audience, and also to you watching on YouTube around the world. Well, tonight we're going to see Swan Lake in rehearsal. How wonderful. But first, please join me in welcoming director of the Royal Ballet, Kevin O'Hare. Hey, Kevin. Lovely nice to see you. you. Of all the classical ballets, Kevin, what does Swan Lake, why does it have such an enduring appeal? Well, it's amazing with Swan Lake because it does have this enduring appeal, but it, you know, it famously wasn't a success at the beginning. But I do think it is the music, first and foremost, that amazing score by Tchaikovsky really drives the whole story across. And I think it has such a narrative that you, you could sit at home and listen to that music and know what's going on because of that score. But then, of course, you have the original Petipa choreography. And, and I think at the heart of it as well is this duality of the role, you know, the, for the ballerina to, to play the, the, the white swan who has been wronged and then the, the evil Odile, you know, who is out to get her, the prince and dupe him. And uh, so I think it's that, that really people come back and back and back because they want to see people recreate that role. And every ballerina, every young dancer aspires to dance it and also um, wants to make it their own. So I think it makes it very, very special. Absolutely. Well, fortunately for us, we're going to see some of the ballet rehearsed here tonight. Can you tell us a little bit about what we're going to watch? Yes, well, um, it's... My pleasure, really. Uh, one of the nice parts of my job is to invite dancers that are very close to the heart of the Royal Ballet to come back and coach the dancers in the role. So I'm delighted that this, for this season I've brought Zenaida Yanofsky, the wonderful ballerina, who uh, had danced, of course, Odetta Deal many, many times with the company. And, uh, so, and she's got so much to give, not only just for, for Odetta Deal, but for many of the other characters in the ballet. So she's going to be here rehearsing two new dancers to the role. So that's Fumi Kaneko and Mayara Magri. And they're both going to make their debut this season. So there's nothing more exciting than a, a debut. And, uh, and so she's going to coach one in some of the white act and one in some of the black act. So we see that both of those roles. Oh, how exciting. We're going to see that in a minute. Yes, and then later on, I think, as a surprise treat, we have Wayne Sleep coming uh, to coach uh, the Neapolitan Dance. Now, the Neapolitan Dance is by Sir Frederick Ashton, and we, it's in this production as well. And uh, he was, when I was a kid, and I used to come and see Swan Lake here, he used to pull the house down uh, when he was doing the Neapolitan Dance. So hopefully he's gonna, some of that's going to rub off on our dancers as well. I'm sure. How exciting. Well, Kevin O'Hare, director of the Royal Ballet, thank you very much. Thank you, Chancellor. Thank you. Well, as promised, I'm dancing, rehearsing the celebrated double role Odetto deal. Please welcome first soloists of the Royal Ballet, Fumi Kaneko and Mayara Magri, coached by former principal Zenaida Yanovsky, with Kate Shipway on the piano. Thank you. different role uh, just on the other side of the stage, which is very exciting. And I've got these two beauties. So I'm going to work with Fumi for about 10 minutes, and then I'm going to work with uh, Mayara afterwards. This is act two. <laughs> <laughs> this is act two when uh, the main swan queen comes in uh, and uh, encounters the, the prince. So her first entrance is the most special one because it's the first time you you've seen her, you know, you, the, the audience have seen, uh, have seen her. And 
there has been act one already. So everybody's been dancing and you know, the story has been going and suddenly you really see this one. So it's a very important entrance and I think one has to really mark that entrance uh, so strongly. Um, so let's go from the... Uh, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> you hear the music and you start getting quite nervous, but uh, she won't. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect, fantastic, that was so beautiful already. Um, so the first, this is something that happens every evening and you come to the lake every evening and it's just to wash your feathers and just to have your own time. So we have to get, get that sensation that this is, this is not a, um, you know, this is your little time for yourself. So as you first speak it, remember to really gather all the energy here before you just, yeah, exactly, and be on yourself. As you come close, because you, you are quite high, which is so beautiful, close in a tiny bit before, so yes, that's it. And then, can, can I see the feathers coming up before you go back? Up before you go back, that's it, that's it. Exactly, very good. Excellent, especially on the last one. Da, di, da, da. Yeah, that's it. All right, let's try just one more time. Would you mind? Thank you. So really feel that um, just, you know, your routine, your daily routine. Be in, in your own bubble. Thank you. Thanks, Kate. <laughs> Now give me heavy, heavy end. One heavy wing and the other heavy wing. That's it. Plie, up. Good. Let's continue. Good. Thank you, thank you, fantastic, absolutely stunning. So, of course, they, we don't have a male, we don't have the prince, so she's imagining it, but I think you could tell. Um, <laughs> so, when, when you are frightened of him and you're doing soutenue, can, I, can you give me different arms uh, after the soutenue yes. every time? So you have a different thought process every time. So the first time you are scared, he goes around you, can you think about it slightly different? Still very frightened, the three times, but give me um, maybe the first time you're frightened, the second time you want to know where he is. And so give me different arms that might um, you know, translate how, how you're feeling. Can we, can we take it just from 
before she comes across. Da di da di da di da di da di suit her new and poor. Yes, please. Ah, sorry, sorry, we are with you. Sorry, Kate. One second. We are with you now. Okay, thank you. Same thing. very much thank you fantastic I think that that reads exactly yeah and you have to just play with it because yeah. Yeah. I think it's, it has to be personal and it has to be truthful exactly yeah. otherwise it doesn't yeah. uh, very good and now when when you're here it's very good after da, 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 I need you to go basically to the other side of the stage yeah. so I need you to really chasse and a nice plie nice preparation nice plie and then like a uh, you have to kind of unscrew yourself, so up you go, and then again, chasse, nice long leg, yes, uh -huh. because I think by doing that, you'll give us the impression that you really want to escape, that this is not a situation you are happy with. Um, can we take it from the last suit on you and da 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 di, the last suit on you, some Boris, I don't know, or a little bit into... Can I, yeah, I'll go a bit further back, then we know where we are. Thank you. All the way to here, and good. Now all the way to the corner. Further, further, more plie, further. Good. Wonderful, thank you, thank you. So mime in ballet is always so uh, difficult because you know it's got a vocabulary that you can't find in a dictionary. Um, you know, <laughs> it doesn't. It's not in your phone, not an emoji. But it's a, uh, it, you know. So you you have to make it again very very uh, believable. So the I would be a little bit softer when he says you hear why, and then, so as you go, I, I am the queen of the swans, but you're still very frightened, you know, you are just engaging with him, but still very frightened. So careful with your, I am the queen of the, ha you know, go easy. I am the queen, just a matter of fact of the swan, exactly. You, the queen of the swans, I bow. And then you start telling the story. You, I've seen, exactly, exactly. And take him, take him with you. So as you go, you, I've seen, and then with the finger, you are going to take him all the way to the lake, you know, over there to a lake. So again, be softer because you are just talking to him, just talking to him. Can we just go straight from the mind, please? Thank you, Kate. <laughs>
good. good excellent fantastic fantastic very good so remember that pointing you pointing is a very a dangerous thing because it can be like over there so it's a soft point or there I want it to be there so be careful with the pointing so it's over there so it's a soft pointing soft pointing over there over the lake of my mother's tears very good but then you can go over there and that can be a little bit more a body, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. So very, very good. As long as there is honesty, then we will read it. You know. So really, be every time you go, I. That's it. There's no, no extra. Yes, I am the queen of the swans. Exactly. Just direct communication, and then, fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you so for it. Thank you. <laughs> fantastic. Thank you. Love. Fantastic. So now, swiftly, if it only was this easy, we'll move to Act 3. <laughs> and, and, uh, and this is uh, Mayara who's going to perform the, well, is going to rehearse the Act 3 solo. So this is um, Odile. Um, as she comes in, she's kind of, uh, she's put a spell on everybody. And we need to see that bravura, that elegance, that uh, somebody that is seductive, that is, you know, la creme de la creme, as one says. So as you come in, this is Act 3, Kate, uh, the solo, and... Perfect, let's stop there. Sorry. <laughs> Perfect. So use that first hand a little bit like a curtain, a veil, you know? It's like, hmm, you know? So use that, exactly, yes, that's it. It's like you see me, you don't see me, and then that develop a la seconde is you're, you're exposed suddenly. You're like, da, yeah, da, you know? Then you are in command. Okay, so you are a little bit like black and white, nobody is sure. As you do, as you finish the double period, the great double, do a plie with um, arrogance, you know? Yeah. Yes, that's it. Use, uh, it's very useful for you because it makes you stop. You are in control. And at the same time, you can actually add character to that. Yeah? As you come back, da, da, the same. Da, yam. Can you go a little lower? Yeah, as if to say, Madame, you know, I bow to you, but you know what's happening. And then like an arrow to somebody's heart. Yeah? And jump. That's right. So we need to see your, um, the fact that you are, yes, exactly, you, but, um, in a character wise, we need to see your demeanor of like, oh, but of course, madame. And at the same time, we need to see the knife shook. Yeah? That's right. So you can play with both. Okay. <laughs> Let's try again. Let's try again. Thank you. Yes. And one. Very good. 
end. Good, good, good. Good. Okay, perfect, perfect. Excellent, very good, very good. I can see you already thinking about it, it's all moving, so it's very, very beautiful. Again, as you're going, da, da, di, da, di, um, use this rondo jam again, like a veil. <sighs> da, yum. Yes, yeah. So it has to have irony in it also. And da, yum. da, 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 good, excellent. Perfect, and then you just go there. Um, do you want to try from the end? Da, da, di, da, di, um? Yeah, so the last. The second one, or? A tiny bit before the end of the first one. So okay, is that the. Say. Yes. Yeah. Da, di, um, Good. And. Yeah. Good, and shoulders back, yes. Bigger chasse, plie. Perfect. Mayara, could you do, from here, could you actually develop and start burring with a pique? And, or maybe just without the, the, the coup de pied. And I just want you to travel, yes. Yes, so, so otherwise it stays here and then till you, you gather momentum. So I want, yeah. And, ba da 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 yes. And actually, you could even start the bure from, from here. You utilize this, so as you go, you see what I mean? So use that, yes, use that arm. Incorporate into the movement, and go one, two, three, yes, that's it, that's it. That was gorgeous, the same second time. So every time, yeah, use everything. Use the apple more every time the looks, you know, you're like, ha, 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 you know, but you know everything. And you're, you're, what you notice a lot is that people look at you. Yeah. Okay, you're that person in the party that you notice, you're very much aware that people are going, oh my God, she's so gorgeous, yeah? So, so utilize that with your change of apple more all the time. So as you're going here, and yeah, da, 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 da. so that's a laugh again. You're laughing, ha, 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 you know. Okay, let's try again from the, from this diagonal. Kate, thank you. Very good, excellent, very good, very good. Uh, so again, you finish. You remember that here you're playing a princess, you're not playing a, a swan. It's just that sometimes you go, and we notice you're a swan, okay? So do you know what I mean? It's that thing where you suddenly, you, you might just go a little bit like that, and we go, oh yeah, she's, is she a swan? Yeah, but otherwise you're a princess. Okay, okay so at any point, be careful with these, because he gets a little bit swan queen. So you finish, yeah, and be proud, boom. Yeah, 
exactly. And as you walk, it's as if you need to brush people's faces, you know, boom, perfume, 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 da di da di da di da to the Queen and Rothbard. Da yum, da da. As you, as you pa de bure, remember to, if you can, take off here, a la seconde, arabesque attitude rambersé. So don't rambersé till you've got to attitude, basically. Okay, let's try. Can we do the end? End of the manage. Thank you. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Good. Arrogant. Yeah, that's it. One. Try to go front side back. Front side back. Yes, that's the one. And. Beautiful. Please, so sorry to end there. Thank you very much. Please, please, please. Thank you for a wonderful rehearsal. We could have watched that all night, couldn't we, really? It seems a shame <laughs> to interrupt. <laughs> Um, to you, first of all, Zanedi, you've danced this role many times before, but how has it been coming back to the company and passing on your wealth of experience mm. to these dancers? I know. Oh, oh you're okay, you've I? got the mic. Yeah. Um, well, I'm obviously in a different position now that I was when I, when I did it, but... Step you back a tiny that, bit. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Um, but they've, you know, I've got... I've, had, I've been coached by so many people, so Sir Anthony Dowell, from Donald McClary, from Leslie Collier, from Olga, from, you know, I've got a, a bag full of um, uh, journeys, really, that, that I've, I've gone th with them, you mm. know, through Swan Lake. Um, so it's a joy for me to be able to go, what? And vomit them. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Is that how it goes? <laughs> <To them. laughs> but but it's, a, it's a joy because also, of course, I have to be extremely disciplined not to uh, impose something that felt good to me. Mm. Uh, and I have to let them also uh, uh, find their own ways. Um, of course, I, 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 you know, if there is something that I feel that strongly that, that it should be done a certain way, then I, I will, um, of course, express that. But, but no, no, nonetheless, I think it's all about, about the, the breathing, the colouring, the, 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 the um, transparency of the character. And I think when that comes across, you know, then it's, it's your role. Yeah, there's so much, isn't there? We'll come on to that in a minute. Mm. But Fumi Mayara, uh, you're making your debut. Congratulations. I think that's really exciting. It's a, a big moment. How does it feel to be taking on one of the biggest roles in ballet? Want to come forward a bit? Um, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's such a, an iconic ballet, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I think every single ballerina one day expects to, to dance this role. And it's been amazing to have Zen. Like she said, she's heard from so many amazing people uh, about this role and how to, how to use the movement and how to interpret it, uh, the, the, the role. And she's passing it to us so well and it's amazing to, to work with her. And it's a very hard ballet technically, um, I find. And it's, it's, it's nice to put a lot of the everything that you're telling us about using the eyes, using the, the back, using the arms, um, onto the technical bit, which is extremely hard. Um, Fumi, yeah. to you, how are you enjoying rehearsals too? Well, it's been absolutely amazing learning from Zenaida, which I've been watching her doing it on stage for a long time and, you know, she, she teaches us like we can talk from our body, like 
yeah, it's, it's amazing. Because <laughs> technically it is very difficult, isn't it? But is it more the emotional range here, that aspect yeah. that is perhaps harder? No, I think combining both is the hard bit. Is, you know, you need to have, your, your vocabulary needs to be solid to be able to, uh, you know, talk mm. in, in a way that is understandable. So, th you know, they are at a standard that is so high. Mm. You know, their standard is so high. I just have to tweak. I don't have to do much, but I, what I love is about colouring, it's about making sense of the movement, about understanding the movement mm. and how to translate it, which is also a difficult process. Yeah. And how have you found the switch from white swan to black swan? Um, I haven't really got to that point yet, but, <laughs> yes. but I think like, uh, Odette is such a pure, innocent, fragile, women into this ordeal is totally opposite. It's, I think it's the biggest challenge in this whole ballet. And then I'm excited to find a way to do it, yeah. Yeah, like we say, it's, it's, it's the, the difference is huge in between one and the other. Mm. And it's quite nice to play, like being very vulnerable when you're uh, that and a deal you just have to be so confident with what you're doing sometimes mm. too confident that's maybe why it fell because <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah it's so technical and you have to really work out you know how to come out of those uh, turns and things and it's really nice to find it in the studio isn't it because like I said it happens all the time mm. like a little slip a little phone you're like oh, I need to be careful here or oh, I need to pull up here um, so it's really mm. finding that mm. and playing with the role, really. I feel like I'm going to find Odette a bit harder. Um, but I can't wait to. I feel like I've got the, the right coach for it. Oh, and it'll be really exciting, exciting. To, to find it. Yeah. Uh, uh, talking of that switch, perhaps you could tell us in your experience what actually happens on the night. You come off as white swan, you have, I don't know, maybe half an hour to go to your dressing room, possibly change the makeup, costume. What do you do in that time in the dressing room? Well, I used to take my shoes off all the time. The first thing was just like, oh my God, <laughs> shoes off. Because of course, you know, just to revitalize the, the toes. Because uh, to, uh, you know, that is so hard on the legs because the control has to be immense. Uh, otherwise, um, it just loses the, the, the magic. So by the time you finish act two, your legs are fairly tired. And then act three, Odile is a little bit of fireworks, a little bit of circus, and here you go, which is a very different dynamic for your muscles. Um, mm. So from, from control to uh, quick, quick uh, muscle tone. Um, so, but then you have everybody that comes to you, the wig department, the makeup department, the fitting department, and so you're a little bit like a puppet, and you <laughs> barely make it back to put your point shoes, and you're, you're back on. So it's, uh, I used to find it short, the, the shortest half an hour ever. Yeah. yeah. It's wonderful to have some backstage anecdotes, mm. isn't it? Well, thank you <laughs> so much to all of you. Thank you for a wonderful rehearsal and good luck with your debut. Fumi, Mayara, Zanada, thank you very much. And thank you very much. Isn't that wonderful? Well, we have had people watching from all over the world tonight, including viewers from Brazil, France, Japan, Australia and South Africa. So thank you very much for watching. And don't forget, Swan Lake will be broadcast live in cinemas around the world on April the 1st. Now it's time for our second rehearsal of the evening. Rehearsing the Neapolitan dance from Act 3 of Swan Lake, please welcome coach Wayne Sleep, first soloist Anna Rose O'Sullivan and first artist Joseph Sissons, accompanied once again by Kate Shipway on the piano. Thank you. How are you? How are you? Well, you've learned it, have you? Yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. Right, okay, shall we go from your entrance then? Yeah. Okay. How many stairs do you have to come down? A lot. Too many? <laughs> yes, well, be careful on your entrance. 
Okay, well, we'll just protect. They have an awful lot of stairs to come down. And when they come on in this piece, in the third act of Swan Lakes, they are, in some productions, brought on by Von Rothbart, the, the magic magician, just to um, give a wonderful sort of cabaret to the, to the audience of the court. So there is a slight twinkle in your feeling when you come on that you're here to dazzle. And if you don't, you get sacked from the company, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, there's that feeling of total, um, you know, you're in control of everything, and you're here, and this is out front. Don't be scared of underdoing it. You know, there is a limit to which we go, but he, this is you presenting yourselves. Here we go. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks. <laughs> um, no, it's, you know, every, it was lovely. But if, I'll tell you right from the beginning what I think about this. It's more the stillness than the movement. So when you bring her on, if you go, da, 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 and if, I mean, they will go with us, won't they, the conductor slightly on this, you know, to what you want. But when we did it, we used to, da, 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 da yum, ba, bum, not yum, bum to make it just slightly yum bum, yeah? Okay. And get to the corner, much further up here, isn't it? Is that where you start there, isn't it? Yes. Thank you. Hold, that's it. Do it bit by bit, that's okay. exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> when you run around here, I just felt that you should have gone further around. As you ran around, you should go more right around and don't take a shortcut when you're holding his hand and just cut, cut in. Yeah. Use the breadth of that, that's fine. And then here, it's sort of like a vying competition so you can stay <laughs> longest. And I like that, I saw that tweet. So when you get there, it's like, who's going to fall first? <laughs> You know, because it is a flirtation. This is a dance about a couple who, you know, are flirting with each other and are vying for the top prize, more or less, there. And then you go, oh, OK, let's do it. And as you come in here, now what do you do here? How do you link? There. Ah, well, we didn't used to do that, but that's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I used, we used to, and I used to offer my hand, and then she'd take it, and then we'd face her. But that's fine. Okay. okay, so there, so go on then. So there. Now, on this one, it's not just a step, step. It's a lean t with the torso. Yes! Thank you very much. Do you see the difference? Yeah. It's, um, Sir Frederick Ashton, before he and um, became the director of the Royal Ballet. He worked in musical theatre, he worked with Fred Astaire, all those people. And you'll find when we get to it, I'll explain another step to you. But don't be afraid of using all the body. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes you exhausted. Because <laughs> it wins you all the time, because you're always moving from side to side, down and up. And it's not easy to breathe, is it? So from here you go, yada dada, and right and to her there. That's it. So let's see that step. Just do that step. Da 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 dum dum bum. And on these, those, those beats are fabulous. But I would say, if you want to do a bit more, it you would extend the leg a bit more. It's that's yes, and it's slightly that's it. And he was always slightly away from the body on those, which. Yes, you see. Oh, yes, much better. You see? Yes. Jeté and in, jeté and in. Just a little. Don't over, you know. Okay. Da, da, da. Let's go on. 
Da, 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 da. Right. Um, can we pick it up from? Yes, that would be good for you. Yes. Now, can we go back a bit further than that? Sorry, sorry. Is this the way you go around with him just before yes. that? You do it four times or something, don't you? Yes. Well, because you have to do it four times, I used to just add a little more to it. Okay. It's like she, he's showing her the way. Dada, would you like to go there, dear? And would you like to go there? And why not go there again? <laughs> <laughs> and so I used to do a sort of, Dada, I haven't finished yet. <laughs> And if you would like to throw that in, Fred okay. didn't mind, if you want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like... Da-da-da-da-da-da-dum. da 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 And go and go... Show her the floor she's got to travel on. You're going there, there. And then on the last one, da 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 dum That's it. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> OK. There's a reason for everything. You have to make up your own reason for doing the step. Now we can go on to that next. Yeah. Just at the end. Lovely, beautiful. Wait a minute. <laughs> nearly there, nearly there. This is where I believe that if you could hold it as long as possible. Da da dum, bum, bum, hold it, hold it. Grab between you know, those thighs together. Da da dum, bum, dum. No, don't overturn. Yeah. Well, it's, not, it's harder for her, actually. <laughs> Really go into the fourth and use that squeeze to hold it up. Yes? And then leave it to the last possible moment to go down. Okay. Yeah? <laughs> it's an exhausting number, by the way. <laughs> so let's go to dum, bum, just hold. Yum, bum. Don't, one doesn't always. Just think of it up. Up and down. Thank you. Yeah. Hold it. Hold it. And down. That's it. Down. Lovely. Okay. All right. Fabulous. Very good. Did you think? <laughs> it's a very sort of nifty step, isn't it? It's not in any of the vocabulary of classical dance, I'll tell you. In fact, it's called falling off a log, which is a tap dance where you go da 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 And I think that may be where he got the idea from. But think of the word falling. Down and picking yourself up. You drop into it, drop into it. Do you understand? It's not just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And drop the dita, yatta dila, yatta dita. Yeah? <laughs> but you know what I mean? But no, but it gives you the impetus. If you're dropping and pulling, it moves you on to the next part of it. Whereas if you go, aren't we nice doing this step? <laughs> so let's just do that step round from there. Do you know where? Thanks. Ah. Drop. Drop. Lovely. 
There's nobody to catch the tabarids. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw in, I saw very nice, very nice. It's the drop, if you could keep your legs slightly under you more yeah. with the spacing, it would give you the twist in the body more rather than trying and getting everywhere because you stay in the same place. But if you go, and that way, and that way. You see, yes. Yes, that's it. Yes, that's better. Yes, yes. It's the twist, always with Ashton. It's the port de bra. <laughs> yeah. Um, da, 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 da. So I stopped you only because of the tambourine string. And I did see on a film of somebody doing it where they threw it at them, they weren't throwing it to them. So go to catch it, and this is what they did, yes? You see? Sorry. I didn't mean quite as low as that, but give it just a lift so they can see it coming towards them. And it makes it more exciting. That's still part of it. It's not like, oh, they catch it because we've got to get out of here. Yes? OK, can we go from there? Yes, yes. And can you dance a little bit closer together? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if it's more together, we see the absolute precision of both of you together. If you're slightly apart, we don't get that impact. Okay. So just keep an eye on each other, especially when you're going around, when you're going sideways, make sure that you get to that part of the stage. And it's only to here. And she does exactly the same. So when you come in, you're right together, showing the centre. OK, shall we go from where you throw the tambourine? Do you know that, Kate? Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. Brilliant. <laughs> but here we go. Da 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 wow. Right. <laughs> Without a tug of war. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah. It's not da 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 do you want to just mark it with the bodies? Yeah. yeah. It's time to go home, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so just mark it. Mark it up and then just feel that. Just mark it to the music. Just mark it through. Definitely. Cross. Cross, that's it. But don't lose her. More open, that's it. Stop there, then. stop there. So, and the only thing I would say about the ending is if you could get a flat back as you're turning around, it's impossible. But, and so that she is so tightly held to you. Yeah, da 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 dee da da, she's holding you there. Yeah, da da, whatever that is. And so that it's down to up. Yeah. And that flirtation of that kiss, you should kiss before you go on, and that's how you should be in the show. You know, so they, you've already got that. Flotation going with the steps. <laughs> well, I don't know, maybe not. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> let's um, just do, are you okay to just do the end bit and then we'll stop there. Okay. there. I'd like to see it right through, so just mark it. Oh, yeah, we'll mark it then. <laughs> well, you know what I've said, just do <laughs> one of these going around and back up just so I can see that you've done it. Just for the end, just without music, yes. Yeah. It wins you, does it? Just really. Yeah. <laughs> And hold her really to you. You're the strength there. OK, and one and two and three and four and six and seven, eight, down. Yes, thank you. Ah, I know what's missing as well. <laughs> you've got to come up after you've been down. You don't da 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 da. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> you didn't do it that badly. But... Right, yes. Da 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 da. Down, 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 yo, down, 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 yo. 
Yes, well, you have to reach. I always did too. But anyway, so <laughs> that's, that's so much better if you can do that. OK, think of those tiny little things. Right. At the end, again, stillness. It should be going sort of flourishy, flourishy. It should be going whom, bum. Yeah? It, it's all a bit so beautifully classic, but it doesn't end and doesn't stop. It's a bit sharper. Dum, da 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 dum, whap. So they know you've finished. <laughs> yeah? Anyway, that's it. Do you want to take a second? Anything else? Dinner? <laughs> OK, go for it. Let's try. Thank you. Don't remember everything I've said. Just get through it and perform it. And the thing is, when you, when you audience, when you actually do it a slightly different way and say a different way of doing things, and it's so in your body to do it your way, it's bound not to work for a few times. You know, it, it takes a while to get that feeling and get rid of the other one <laughs> to do it. So you shouldn't expect it all in one go. And whenever I was given a correction in class or anything like that, I never used to try and apply the movement. Just think it. Then it will take over for you. OK? I tried to chat through the rest. Here we go. <laughs> Off you go. Yes. Hold it. And tease. Good. Away from the body. Hit. Better. And keep it fairly small. That's it's tightening on him. Now bigger. Yes. And still. That's it. Second arm. Keep it still. Hold. That's it. Better. Head up when you turn. Up, head up. That's better. Bit faster. Relax. Just mark it and just go to the end step. Relax. And just give me the final position at the end. Good girl. Oh, sorry. So good. It's lovely. It's lovely. You didn't need me. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic rehearsal. Thank you so much. Come and have a chat. Come, and have a chat. Come this way. Get your breath. Oh, my goodness. It's just so wonderful, that dance. It just puts a smile on your face, doesn't it? I was looking at some of the audience. No, didn't put a smile smiling. on their face. No. Tired, <laughs> it's tiring, right? This is so Oh, it's awful. Work. I know it's not awful. It's a wonderful dance to do. When you hear that the audience have so enjoyed it, it makes it worthwhile in the end, yeah. you know, when that happens. And, um, well, you've danced this role yourself, haven't you, when you're in the yes, company? Yes. You've worked with Sir Frederick Ashton. Can you tell us a little bit about what it was like learning it from him? Well, I learned it actually from Alexander Grant and Julia Farron, the originals in it. And all they would do was argue in the studio, say, no, it was this way, dear, no, it was that way, dear. I'd say, I've got an opening night in two days. But no, but what they actually would taught you was what I was just trying to hand on there. If you can get right down and right up and right down, right up, rather than 
turning around. Mm. Those tiny movements in an Ashton ballet can make it either great or it can make it very academic. I've said before that everything comes from classical ballet class. And I would be given steps that just looked like a, a brise, but then he would add an extra thing to it and that would make it his choreography. And if that doesn't exist, it turns into sort of a dance, but not his style so much. He always wanted a renversé to go all the way around, not just there. It would have to go and follow the arm through all the way. And those twists are exhausting, aren't they? Yeah. And, and that, was, that was the tiring part of it. And you don't have much time to warm up, you're really you're waiting in the wings to go on and you've got to come on like a firecracker, yeah. you know, with all that energy, and you don't get that when you're waiting to do it. I don't know how you feel when you're waiting to do something like that. And you, you haven't really been on stage at all yet, have you? Why don't you come and, come and join our chat? Yeah, you can all, you can chat together. What are you doing over there? <laughs> oh, and perhaps we should ask you, what, what do you find the biggest challenge of this dance? I mean, it looks hard, tiring. I should give that to you, sorry, you. to Michael. What would you say? Uh, I would say that the intricacies of the footwork, mm. um, making sure that everything is neat. Um, the, the lower leg is going like fire, but your face is like nothing yeah. is hurting. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to perform for you. And I think it's just, this dance is great fun. Yes. Um, it's very precise, but it's also... It's not good on the feet, though, is it? Because those runs on point, for instance. Oh, yeah. Don't they hurt? Because you're yeah. just banging into your toes. You call it the trotter step, even though it's... Not you call it the trotter step. Just because you feel like yeah. there's, you know, it's different kind of point work than you would do in other... Well, you'd have a preparation for something else, yeah. maybe, and you just yeah, don't like, have any... Mm. Like a race where you quickly have to go. Yes. Every step is like that. Yeah. Mm. And you've danced this role before, is that right? Yeah, so you, you kind of know what's coming a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Semi-prepared. Yeah, I, th I think, like Anna said, it's kind of, I think that was a really good way of putting it. It's like that sprinter syndrome when you're there on the decks and you've got to, like... It's the 100 metres, it's not the mile. Yeah. It's That's the, right, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> and you can't yeah. use all your energy in the first three seconds either because it's really easy to come on and... Yeah! yeah! And then you start the step and you're like, oh. Yeah. Preserve it, <laughs> yes. And so it's, it's that, it's, it's the long run, I think. Yeah. 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 Yes, yes, for the end, yes, exactly. And the footwork is a very, so Frederick Ashton, isn't it, notoriously tricky? Tricky, and well, the British were always famous with their footwork, actually. I mean, they, the Russians said our arms were terrible, but we had better footwork <laughs> than they did, so that was at least conversation. But that's the old days, we're now right up to them, don't worry. But, um, <laughs> but, you know, and so being famous, that intricacy, and I think a lot of it came because the stages was much smaller that they had to dance on, you know, back, way back. And so a lot of things you had to make intricate rather than do big jetés around the stage. So it would make the choreography more interesting. Mm. But being more intricate takes a lot more out of you, doesn't it? Yeah. And we haven't really talked much about the music tonight, but it's so upbeat, isn't it? It's so uplifting. It must carry you through yeah. the music in yeah. this dance. Well, only if the trumpet is on, on <laughs> form. Because <laughs> when you go around... I'm going to get shot for this. <laughs> <laughs> but when you go around the stage, that, and it's a trumpet solo, and it's a very famous solo, and it's a very difficult solo. And it's da 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 all you've got. And sometimes, if the seconds were thrown on, you'd be doing so well, and he would go da 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 Because, and they would say, and the conductor would say to me, it's too fast. I said, well, I didn't learn dancing to go slow. <laughs> you know, and... Um, so sometimes it's up to them, but when it works, it's the trumpet solo with you two that makes this wonderful sort of excitement that goes on. Well, it was a wonderful rehearsal. Thank you very much. Good luck with the show. Thank you very much to you, Wayne Sleen, Anna Rose and Joseph Sisson. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wonderful. Uh, Thank you.
Well, sadly, that is all we have time for tonight. What a shame. But don't forget that you can see Swan Lake here at the Royal Opera House from March the 5th and in cinemas around the world from April the 1st. Well, thank you to all our wonderful dancers tonight. Mayara Magri, Fumi Kaniko, Anna Rose O'Sullivan, Joseph Sissons, our coaches Wayne Sleep and Zenaida Yanovsky, pianist Kate Shipway and director of the Royal Ballet, Kevin O'Hare. Thank you to you for joining tonight's Insight supported by Rolex. And thank you to our wonderful studio audience. Thanks so much. And to you watching around the world on YouTube. Good night.